Hello, and welcome to this online demo of the Empower Slide Library. If you're watching this video, you probably create presentations regularly using Microsoft PowerPoint and want to reuse existing content. You might be frustrated by the constant search for the right slide in your company's various storage locations, like network drives, SharePoint, or Microsoft Team channels. This data chaos often stems from having multiple versions of documents scattered across different locations. Keeping all this content up to date and organized would be incredibly time consuming and expensive. So most companies simply don't do it. As a result, content remains outdated and cluttered storage locations keep creating more chaos. Let's imagine a common scenario. You need to create an important PowerPoint presentation for a business partner using accurate and secure information. You vaguely recall creating similar slides in the past, but after searching, you can't find them. You ask your colleagues for help, but they also come up empty handed. You and your team have wasted valuable time without any progress. Typically, this leads to hastily assembling the slides with incomplete information because you're running out of time. You don't have all the facts and figures memorized, so you have to scramble to gather the correct information, further delaying the process. This is especially stressful if you're not an expert on the topic. Finally, after rebuilding the slides, you finish the presentation, hoping your business partner understands the delay. But even if you do manage to find the slides, there's no guarantee that they are up to date. Saying I found it doesn't mean the information is still accurate. We often feel relieved to have saved time only to realize the content isn't reliable. Even if you are an expert, producing quality work means verifying the information found in those slides with reliable sources. This process is often time consuming, especially in a corporate environment. It's a paradox. Whether we find content or not, we still need to verify it. Document chaos and relying on potentially outdated content should both be avoided. In the end, users often end up reinventing the wheel, either reconstructing missing slides or updating old slides with new information. Both scenarios waste significant time for the user and their colleagues until they finally obtain results with verified information. The solution to this challenge is ensuring users can always find current content directly. Here's a starting point, a library prominently displayed in the PowerPoint ribbon, accessible to all users. It's so intuitive that every user can understand it immediately. If you've used the Windows Explorer interface, you'll be familiar with the basic principles. The folder structure on the left contains folders and subfolders, while the content is organized thematically by department, language, or other criteria. Clicking on a folder displays its contents in the middle window. Here you see the PowerPoint slides. Unlike storing them on a network drive or SharePoint, the library clearly indicates whether it's an entire presentation or just an individual slide. Presentations are marked with this icon. Another advantage compared to the files on a drive or SharePoint is the ability to preview individual slides within the presentation. You no longer need to open the entire file in a new tab or download it just to see what's inside. Individual slides are marked with this icon. So there's no confusion between presentations and slides. Users always know whether they're navigating within a presentation or browsing individual slides. If the text on the slides is too small to read, you can use the preview feature to enlarge it with multiple zoom levels available up to full screen. Now you can decide whether to open the entire presentation for direct use or perhaps enrich it with additional content. If you choose to open it, the presentation opens in a new PowerPoint instance. More commonly, you might only want to use a few slides from a presentation. A double click on a slide adds it to your current presentation, ready for immediate use. For those wondering if all files need to be stored in the library or if they can come from SharePoint Online or Microsoft Teams, the answer is yes. Many companies already have repositories on these platforms, but they are often difficult to navigate leading to the situations described earlier. Users require easy access to this content. Here's my connected SharePoint, accessible through the library. I can easily preview the slides here, which isn't possible in SharePoint, to see the content and decide if I want to use individual slides. This makes searching for content much easier when you're unsure where to find it. 
individual slides are often reused, so PowerPoint files make up the majority of data in such a library. The most common scenario is searching for a word you believe is on the slide because you usually have a rough idea of its content. This allows you to find suitable content quickly and easily. Can you do the same with SharePoint or on a network drive search function? No, you can't. Try it for yourself and see if you can find a single slide within a presentation using their search functions. With Empower, you can filter your search to specifically look for slides, eliminating the display of presentations and the results. This streamlines the process and ensures you're searching at the right level. But that's not all. In this example, we want to create a German presentation. So we need to filter out the English content. You don't even need to manually select the language of a document when saving it. Empower Content Enablement automatically detects the language and assigns a corresponding flag. So you can easily see the language of each document or presentation in the filter list. Now you have a choice. Either the desired document is right in front of you and you insert it into your presentation, or you're unsure which one is right. In that case, you have several options. You can zoom in again to double check, or you can sort the document by creation date to quickly find the newest one. Once you've found the right content, simply add it to your existing document and you're done. You can also access the slide library through a browser where all PowerPoint slides and presentations are available. You can search and access everything just like in the desktop application to quickly find the assets you need. The Office mobile apps also allow you to open and edit PowerPoint presentations on a tablet or mobile device. Saving files in the library is simple. Open a document, such as a company presentation, word proposal, or any other file, then click on Save As via the library split button and choose the appropriate storage location, just like Windows. The files are uploaded to the library and become available to everyone. Imagine these files have been in the library for a few weeks or months, being used by various users. Now it's time for an update because employee numbers or needs have changed. In this situation, several problems usually arise. How many versions of the facts and figures slide exist in the system? Where are they located? How can we ensure that all versions are updated, including those not under our control? Some might be stored on personal computers or inaccessible locations. How do we notify everyone about these updates and prevent them from using outdated versions? Let's handle this professionally and let the software do its job. Let's navigate to the slides location in the library. You'll see a red symbol here indicating that this is the original slide. This original slide can have linked copies within the Empower library, and these linked copies automatically reflect any changes made to the original. Right-clicking on the original slide allows us to check when it was last updated. There's a version history that tracks all previous versions of the slide, showing you who made changes and when. If I want a visual comparison of old and new versions, the software provides that too. With highlighting, I can see exactly what's new in the current version compared to the previous ones. Now that we've identified the versions we have and the changes made, we naturally want to know how many variants or linked copies of this slide exist in the Empower library. We can check this by looking at the update connections. Here, you can see the original slide, its linked copies, their location, and whether they are on the same level. With one click, all outdated versions can be synced with the original, ensuring that all content in the library is accurate and up to date. This provides full transparency and maximum efficiency, so users can trust that the library content is always current. So how do we prevent outdated content from spreading across storage locations like Drives, Teams, or SharePoint? When you open a document with outdated content originally from the Empower library, you'll receive an update notification. This message tells you that the document's content is outdated compared to the original in the Empower library. Each document from the library gets an ID, 
allowing Empower to recognize it, such as a slide. The software then checks if the slide's modification date in PowerPoint is older than the library's version. If the library's version is newer, the PowerPoint slides are outdated and need updating. In the update notification, the new version from the library is offered. Users can compare the old and new versions, just like with version history, to see all the changes before deciding whether to accept the update. Sometimes users might not want to accept an update, such as when old documents contain charts that they do not want to change. However, generally, users will appreciate clicking OK to automatically replace old slides with new versions from the library, staying up to date within seconds and continuing their work seamlessly. Using outdated documents doesn't help a company increase revenues, enhance its image, or build trust with business partners. This challenge can be solved by enabling users to create professional, complex documents quickly and easily. Users should never have to choose between document quality and their own efficiency. Users simply fill out a form in a form wizard, which operates similarly to an installation wizard when installing software on a PC. This wizard is individually configured for each document, guiding users through all options and contingencies when creating complex documents. Let's open the library and look at a presentation template that's automated. For this video, we have chosen to create a classic company presentation, which everyone can easily relate to. If we were to click on the presentation, the automation would start directly with the wizard, but we'll hold off on that for a moment to explain the structure of an automated template for better understanding. Let's start by right-clicking on this presentation and look at the so-called automation template. Here, you'll see many slides, and at first glance, it may seem like a typical PowerPoint presentation. On the first slide, there's a placeholder for an event. Company presentations are usually given for specific occasions, such as events in front of an audience. In the automation wizard, which we'll look at in a moment, you'll have the opportunity to enter an event name into a designated text field, and this text will appear in the placeholder. The following slides contain classic content for such a presentation, including numbers and facts, location, references, and more. In the wizard, we can choose between a short and long version of the company presentation, incorporating these elements. The long version includes a mission statement, company history, and market data. We can select which of these additional contents to include. If we scroll further, you'll see that all slides are also available in German, allowing us to choose between an English or German presentation in the wizard. Now that we have an overview, let's close this and start the automated presentation creation with a double click. The wizard opens and we can make the necessary inputs or selections. First, we choose to create an English presentation and enter the title, for example, event XYZ. We opt for the long version of the presentation and include the history and market data and omit the mission statement. This way, you can see that the mission statement is indeed not included in the final presentation. We proceed to the next steps and the process completes. As you can see, the presentation is ready in English with all the necessary content except for the mission statement, which we excluded. Let's take a brief pause here. Do you remember the challenges we discussed at the beginning of this video when creating complex documents? Those challenges are no longer there. No more tedious searching for the right template as the software applies it automatically. No more searching for content blocks in various locations, as all the necessary content blocks are already in the template. No more checking and updating outdated content, as the template content is always current. No guesswork about the content order, as the software inserts it in the correct order. No searching for fields to enter mandatory information. These fields are clearly visible in the wizard with brief instructions. The wizard can also be configured to prevent document creation unless all mandatory fields are filled out, ensuring that all users enter the required information. Additionally, 
there's no formatting work because all content is automatically formatted in the correct template. How easy is it to customize or configure this automation process? It should be simple enough for you to do it yourself so you aren't constantly dependent on a technical colleague or us as the provider. Let's look at how to adjust settings in the form using the wizard that users fill out when creating a document. It's actually very easy. You simply click on the Automation Designer, then on the Wizard Designer button. Here, you can see how easy it is to add a new question to the existing wizard. You click on Add a New Question and get various options, such as adding a yes or no question, a text field, or a single or multiple choice question. Let's say we want to add a text field. You determine the name of the question, enter the question itself, and specify whether the question is mandatory. This means the question must be answered for the document to be generated. Once you're done, close the wizard designer. And from that point on, all users will create the document according to the new configuration. In summary, in this video, you've seen how users can always find current content seamlessly, eliminating the need to search for or update outdated content. You've also seen how to ensure the data integrity of the Office documents using the software. If you want to know how implementation works in your company, feel free to contact us, share your challenges with us, and we'll develop a concept for implementation. This way, you can quickly provide a reliable source of truth with Empower, allowing your users to create PowerPoint documents that your business partners can truly rely on. We look forward to talking to you. Have a great day.